I'm Judy Hodges with the Salk Institute, and it's a great pleasure to give you a warm welcome back to the Breathing and Sleep Symposium. We're thrilled to see so many of you here this morning. The Salk Institute is a very special place where extraordinary scientists conduct extraordinary science and where its history is intricately interwoven with yours. As many of you know, the Institute celebrated the 50th anniversary of its founding this year. We thought you would enjoy this brief video that reports on the success of Jonas Salk's vision and the work of the Institute today. Since its founding 50 years ago, the Salk Institute for Biological Studies has pursued a single agenda, recruit the best minds in modern biology and give them the freedom to look beyond the horizon of what was thought possible. Today, over 850 scientists from all over the world are trying to understand the basic principles that cause many of the devastating diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, diabetes, cancer, and a host of infectious diseases. Their hope is that if they understand the basic principles of how these diseases originate, they will find effective cures and medical treatments. In laboratories perched on cliffs overlooking the Pacific Ocean, Salk scientists delve into the intricate architecture of the brain. Unlock the aging process. Harness the power of stem cells. Reveal the secrets of cancer. And probe the molecular pathways that prompt tiny seeds to grow into fruit-bearing plants. Aging is the greatest risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. We found that by simply changing the aging process in mice prone for Alzheimer's disease, prevented their brains from turning into a neuronal wasteland. We now have a molecular and genetic understanding of cancer. It is time to translate this knowledge into revolutionary new therapies that save the lives of patients suffering from this terrible disease. Our brains are, are quite dynamic. They're changing throughout our lives. And most remarkably, they change in response to experiences that we have. So physical exercise, an enriched environment, and even diet can have an impact on the physical structure of the brain. Our goal is to understand how these experiences can structurally change the brain so we can improve our brain function. Our bodies contain millions of cells with amazing regenerative powers that maintain and restore our tissues every day. We want to understand this process better so that one day we may induce the regeneration of damage and aging organs. Securing the world's food supply in a changing climate may be one of the biggest challenges we face this century. Understanding how plants grow and interact with their environment is crucial to increase crop yields, enhance nutritional value, and reduce reliance on non-renewable inputs. Science thrives on new technology, and nothing embodies this better than the emerging field of life cell imaging and biophotonics. It allows us to solve long-standing questions and provides unanticipated opportunities for new scientific discoveries. Salk scientists are known all over the world for finding creative solutions to biological problems. Graduate students and postdocs like myself come to the Salk to train with the world's top scientists and get the best possible start to our careers. The Salk Institute is a cathedral of science. It was the brilliant conception of Jonas Salk. He envisioned a work of art that serves the work of science. Open labs and symmetric buildings encourage the free exchange of ideas. The collaboration and synergy that distinguish Salk scientists accelerate the pace of scientific discovery. Based on the impact of the discoveries made here, the Salk Institute consistently ranks among the leading basic research institutions in the world. As we look into the future, the intrepid and collaborative nature that has made the Salk Institute what it is today, a global leader in life sciences, will continue to spur new discoveries, discoveries that will change our world. I'm delighted to thank the symposium's generous sponsor, ResMed, and the dedicated and energetic symposium planning committee, Angela King, Gladys Swensrud, and Rick van der Linden. I want to make sure you all know about Polio Today, the website designed to raise awareness of the polio, post-polio syndrome and to be a resource for all of you. Information is available at the registration desk today as well as your free gift. 
a pleasure to introduce Brad Svet, the symposium MC. Brad is the Senior Director of Business Development, Ventilation for ResMed. Additionally, he is responsible for North American sales operation. Brad and his family recently moved to the San Diego area from Seattle, where Brad held various sales management and business development positions for over the past 22 years. Unfortunately, Brad chose to bring the weather with him from Seattle. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. Okay, before I introduce our first presenter this morning, um, I wanted to ask you to take a look at the agenda. Uh, at the bottom of each presenter, you will see a, in bold Q&A. Uh, what we want to try and do during this Q&A is get everybody's questions answered. However, if we run out of time and we need to get to the next presenter, or if you're a little shy and you don't want to raise your hand and have the microphone, microphone brought over to you, there are these uh, cards. You can jot down your question on the card, and what we'll do is, in the foyer, have a basket where you can drop your question during one of the breaks, okay? If there is enough time at the end of the day, we will uh, try and do a group uh, Q&A answer session to go through the cards that are in the basket. But if we're out of time, what we will do is then try and get all of the questions answered and posted at www.poliotoday.org, okay? So, 